So I'm going to show you how to insert some pictures and some um, text uh, so that you know how to do this when we're streaming at church. So if I'm not there, you can do this without any problems. So we're going to go down to the plus sign down here. Click on that. And we're going to add a, a picture. So we go to image. Click on OK. And then we browse for our image. So you find out where your image is. It'll probably be in uh, my pictures on the PC at church. But here I'm going to go into today's service and choose an image. So to resize it, you just grab it at one of the corners and drag it up until you find a a good size. And it would normally go up in the corner here, but then you kind of see my face, so ha. And then now we're going to do the same with the text. So again, you you click on the plus sign, and then you go to um, text GDI. Click on OK. And then type in your text, which is what now and what's next. And then you're going to choose what colour it is. So you go to the side here and drag it down till you see select colour. And we'll choose blue as that seems to be my, my colour for me at the moment. Oh, click OK. Click OK again. And then resize your text. And then drag that down to the corner. Oh, and we're going to add another picture. So again, go down to the plus sign, go up to image, click OK, and then browse to the image again. It'll be in a particular place on the PC. Uh, we'll choose our logo, which is that one there. Click OK. Again, you drag it over to the corner and resize it. The other thing you want to try and do is um, make it opaque. So we go there, go to filters. So we right click on the image, go to filters, add a filter. I usually just add a chroma tree, a chroma key, and then you just go to opacity. And close. And you can do the same with all the other images too. So you would click on uh, the next image, go to filters, plus sign, chroma key, click OK, and then you can make it opaque as much or as little as you like. I, I say about 50, 40, 50%, it's probably enough. And you can do the same with the text, I guess. If you really wanted to. But I tend just to leave it alone. So there we go. That's how you add pictures and text in OBS.